Hello Gemini, welcome to your mid-month reading. I've pulled two oracle cards for you. The first is from the House of Night oracle deck. You've pulled High Priestess of Earth. And from the Angels deck, you've pulled the Ocean. Now these two cards together suggest that something's been weighing heavily on your mind and I feel that you need to seek some clarity and in order to do that I feel like you need to spend some time in nature uh, spend some time by the ocean perhaps go on vacation or if you can't do that right now take a mini break or just take yourself away for a day or even for a few hours just go out for a walk uh, buy some water and I feel that things will become clearer to you after you've done that. Now, in the center of your reading, Gemini, you have the Ace of Wands. So there is a new beginning around you. Let's see what that new beginning is about for you, Gemini. We've got the Ten of Cups. All right. So Gemini, this looks really good. It seems that you've got a new beginning around you with the hope of a stable family environment, perhaps a marriage, commitment, harmony in the home. So that's really terrific. So this is what this whole reading is about. So let's see where we can go with that. But it's looking good for you, Gemini. We've got the Knight of Wands in the past position. This suggests to me that in the past there was some kind of fast movement towards a new passion. There was, I feel this is you, Gemini. I feel you, you moved, there was some movement it may have, you may have acted without thinking about the consequences because the, the Knight of Wands comes in with a lot of passion but not a lot of logic. Let's see what else I can pull up on that Knight of Wands for you, Gemini. What is this Knight of Wands for Gemini? Justice and the Seven of Swords. Now, Gemini. Now, of course, this is a general reading, so the energies can go the other way around. This could be something you've done in the past. It can be something that was done to you in the past by someone else. But it appears that there was some kind of betrayal, some kind of tricky, stealthy, sneaky behavior. I feel that someone's someone's run away from responsibilities it may have been a very fast impulsive action based on passion and with the justice card along with the seven of swords i feel that i feel this card is more in the sense of a legal matter so I feel that there may have been a divorce, but it happened very quickly. And it was probably in relation to either you or someone else doing something they shouldn't, very sneaky, betrayal. So let's see where we go with that, Gemini. In the present situation, you have a Queen of Wands around you. Now, I don't feel this is you because you're an air sign. This is a fire sign. It could be male or female because this is a general reading. But let's see what we can call up on this Queen of Wands in your environment. Uh, we have the Strength card and one more. The King of Swords. I feel this is you, Gemini. This King of Swords because you are an air sign. So I seem to be reading for a male here. So this, again, this can go, the energies can go vice versa. I feel that currently 
you are I feel like you want to work out some difficulties you've had with a fire sign <clears throat> I feel that you're needing patience to overcome these difficulties I feel with the strength card you're following your instinct and I feel that you're having the courage to come through some difficulties here that I feel that you've had. It may have been this legal matter or this divorce that's happened in the past here, this, this sneaky behavior. And I feel that you, you're coming out stronger now because of the strength card. I feel that you've gone through some trials and tribulations but you're following your instinct here and, and coming out with a more solid foundation. Now in the future you have the Two of Cups and this speaks all about a soul relationship, uh, two people coming together definitely a, uh, a love relationship let's see what else I can pull out on the two of cups we've got the knight of swords in reverse the star and the nine of swords in reverse so as your future energy Gemini I feel with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you're wanting to take some, well, actually with the star, you have some hope here. You're really hoping to move quickly towards this, achieving this Two of Cups, this, this soul union, this, this love relationship. And you want to get out of this period of feeling anxiety, sleepless nights mental confusion you're hoping to come out quickly from a, a dark period I feel it could be that you have renewed faith in achieving this two of cups So that's good. That that's good for you, Gemini. You're you're wanting to take some quick action there to come out of this this period here. I feel where <clears throat> things have not worked out for you in the past, and I feel that you're being very. You, you, I'm I'm sensing an impatient energy, but there's also a lot of hope there in coming out of this nightmare phase this night of the dark soul here where you where you're unable to sleep where you're keeping yourself up at night feeling anxious about something you're wanting to swiftly come out of that now in your advice section you have the five of pentacles in reverse and I feel that the advice with this card speaks about you've come through the worst of it and there's now renewed hope and light at the end of the tunnel it can also suggest for you not to repeat past financial mistakes so let's see what else there is on the five of pentacles in reverse for gemini we've got the six of cups and the hanged man So it seems, Gemini, that someone from the past could be returning with the Six of Cups here. And with the Hanged Man, I feel that... I feel that you, as advice, the Hanged Man is saying that you need to take a take some time take a time out to evaluate what's coming back to you from the past and the five of pentacles again reversed may suggest 
learning from the past in terms of uh, financial mistakes made in the past. But I feel that as advice, these three cards are saying that, yes, the worst is over. Learn from past mistakes. Something, someone could be coming back from the past, but I feel that you need to take, a, take some time here and don't rush into anything. That's how I feel with those three cards. Now, <clears throat> in your environment, you have the Emperor in reverse. This card suggests, it could be an Aries individual, but I'm, I see this more as your energy. I feel that with the Emperor in reverse, there's been some kind of imbalance of power there could have been some control issues um someone could have been quite dominating let's see what else i can pull out on the emperor in reverse the gemini the world and the three of cups in reverse okay so this can the energies of this can go either way Gemini this could be how someone else is viewing you or it can be what someone else is doing to you that is having an effect on your current situation so how I see this Gemini is that there's being the a, a cycle is being completed here with the world card and it appears to involve someone who was abusing their power, being quite dominating and controlling, overbearing, possessive, and it seems to involve some kind of betrayal here or third party situation. So again, the energies can go either way on that. It could be you or someone else that's doing that or has has done that now in your hopes and fears Gemini you have the king of Pentacles now this could be an earth sign a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so let's see what I can pull up on the king of Pentacles with the five of swords and the two of wands now, I see this as a hope, Gemini. I feel that you're looking to make some plan. you're starting to make some plans here. And it seems to involve achieving some kind of victory. And it involves this King of Pentacles. I feel that you are wanting to take some kind of risk here, wanting to take the initiative here with this Two of Wands. And you may be wanting to achieve some kind of victory here, but it seems that you want to win at all costs because the five of swords is really a card that suggests you want you feel that the ends justify the means so there seems to be some kind of hope here where you're wanting to get some kind of victory over this king of pentacles now in the outcome gemini you have the temperance card so this card is all about experiencing harmony, moderation, peace, well-being. It's also a card of Sagittarius, which suggests this also over here with this Queen of Wands over here in the present situation. So let's see what else I can pull out on Temperance for Gemini. You've got the Empress, 
you've got the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Devil card. Now, Gemini, as your outcome, I feel that there's some kind of block here towards achieving this harmony and well-being with this with this Empress figure, which I see as a, as a, a nurturing female, uh, a wife figure, or just someone that you... I, I feel like with, with Temperance and the Empress, it, it, Temperance and the Empress, beg your pardon, is um, more about you want to find harmony with this person, but there's some kind of block here with the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's frustration, delay, and it involves this devil energy. Now that could be whatever is blocking you from moving forward. It, is, it could be, it's, it seems to be some kind of toxic, could be a toxic relationship, uh, could be some kind of obsession or addiction is the block towards achieving this harmony with this Empress. So Gemini, it appears that you're wanting this new beginning here, this new family stability. There's been injustice in the past here, I feel, with this sneaky behavior and perhaps some sort of impulsive action here involving a legal matter it could be a divorce in the present i see you here as the king of swords with this queen of wands um, having the courage and persistence to get over these past trials and in the future i see you quickly wanting to get out of this period here where you felt you've been in a nightmare phase and you want to achieve this soul relationship here. Your best path to follow is, is telling you that there could be something coming back from the past and it's saying not to repeat past financial mistakes and perhaps you need to have a time out to think about the best path to follow and that's also suggested up here with your oracle cards of high priestess of earth and the ocean which suggests that you need time away by some water to help clear your mind i feel that someone is putting an end to a period here where, where it's involved a third party relationship and some abuse of power. There appears to be hope here, Gemini, where you want to achieve, you want to win some victory here, achieve a victory over this King of Pentacles. And you seem to be taking an, the initiative here in doing that. And the outcome suggests that there's a block here, some sort of toxic block to achieving harmony and well-being with this Empress figure. So that's your reading, Gemini. I wish you all the best for the rest of the month. Stay tuned and I will let you know how to reach me for a personal reading. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, Gemini. Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Gypsy Insights. I'm so excited to launch this new channel. I'm an intuitive reader. I receive the energies from the cards as I read them. I'm here to provide guidance through tarot and I hope that you enjoy the readings. My general readings can be quite specific and won't resonate with everyone. Please check your sun, moon and rising signs to see which one resonates the most with you. And remember, the energies can resonate with you or go vice versa.
These general readings are provided free of charge, so if you are enjoying my readings, please feel free to donate using PayPal and my email address, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I look forward to reading for you personally. Please email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com if you would like a personal reading. I'm offering low introductory rates. If you would like an answer to one question, I offer a 15-minute video. I also offer a 30-minute video if you have two to three questions and an in-depth video of 45 to 60 minutes. These videos are delivered to you via YouTube for you personally. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be adding additional content on a regular basis. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you again very soon.